Welcome to Data Shark Academy. In this lesson, let's talk about parallelism. Scoop internally uses num mappers parameter to set default number of mappers to four. That's why we received four SDFS files in our previous lessons. Which means import command will split the source MySQL table into four different tasks. Each task will be handled by one mapper process. After process completes, Mapper task will dump its result into a flat file on SDFS. That's what we saw in our previous lessons also. Although it's not recommended to reduce the number of mappers, but say you want to create one single output file on SDFS for some reason, then this can be achieved by setting number of mappers parameter to one. Likewise, if the source table is big, then you need more mappers. And to increase the number of mappers, you need to set this number to a higher value. So more the number of mappers, more will be the degree of parallelism. So more resources will be needed. So keep this in mind. So let's try this in action with a small table and set the number of mappers to two in our case. By the way, in addition to number of mappers, you can also use hyphen M, which is a short form of number of mappers and the results are same. So let's try this. So let's run scoop import again. Alright, so we are importing table employees. Our target directory will be scoop employees to mappers. Okay. And um, driver is let's go JDBC. and num mappers so instead of num mappers i can also specify just um, hyphen m okay enter so now you will see instead of four default mappers it will use two mappers and create two different files on sdfs as you can see here number of splits is two which means there are two mappers assigned to this map reduce job so now the job is running all right so we imported all 1000 records let's quickly look at the results as scoop so now we should have one directory created called employees to mappers let's see what are the contents all right so we got two different files instead of four for example like in the previous case we had four uh, files created because there were by default four mappers used now we change it to two mappers Alright, so this may be helpful in some scenarios. So keep this in mind. Sometimes you have so much of data on the source side and in those cases you need to change the number of map boards. I have personally ran the jobs where we are using more than 1000 map boards for importing the data just because there was so much of data that we need to import in a time constrained manner. So I hope this helps. So try this out and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.